Never felt tomorrow closing in this fast. Oh, I guess time's in a rush. Leaves are falling down, but at least they grow back. While I'm on a one-way track, now I. Cigarettes on the table, dirty plates on the stove. I don't know if you know where to start, but I know where you'd like to be. I'm afraid that I've lost you, 'cause you're hiding from me. Yeah, it shows that it's cost you a lot. Be like the rest of us. To be like the rest of us. I've been waiting so long for the storm to arrive. I know that is in you. I know that is in you. Dancing away with the world in your eyes. Oh, goodbye, Virginia. Goodbye, Virginia. Got eyeballing down to an art, and it's working too well in me. I need someone to talk to when you're hiding from me. So you're on and just walk through the rain and be like the rest of us. Yeah, be like the rest of us. I've been waiting so long for the storm. I know that is in you. I know that is in you. Dancing away with the world in your eyes. Oh, goodbye, Virginia. Goodbye, Virginia. Goodbye, Virginia.
Okay, so here is a tour of my apartment before all of my stuff is moved in. I've made trips to Target and Ikea yesterday, so some stuff is here, but my furniture hasn't arrived. So I'm just standing at the front door right now. So this is the view when you walk in, you have the kitchen here, and then to the right you have sort of the main space, and then to the left you have the bathroom. So let's go into the bathroom first. Okay, there's also another little cupboard here which is just good for a little bit of storage. There's some more hanging space there. It's pretty shallow, but might be a good place to store like suitcases or clothes or something. Um, here's some stuff that I bought yesterday that I'll show you in a minute. They're my shoes. Okay, entering the bathroom. So it's just a little look. How cute, one of these lights doesn't work, um, but there's just this cute mirror here and Oh, hello. It has storage behind the mirror, which is very cool. We love some face level storage. So there's a little mirror, then just the basin, and then cupboards underneath there. And then we have the toilet, lovely, lovely. And we have towel rack, and then here is the shower. It's like a shower bath, which honestly, I do not like shower baths, but that's okay. It'll be much better than the communal bathroom in the dorms. So that is the bathroom. Then you walk out of the bathroom and you walk into the kitchen. So this is one of my favorite parts about the apartment. This kitchen is pretty big for a studio apartment. There's a lot of storage space, nice big, sorry if you can hear some traffic noises, nice big fridge, dishwasher, oven, a lot of bench space like this is a lot of bench space. Um, and then we have, yeah, oven, stove top and a nice large sink. A lot of storage down there and a lot of storage up here as well. This is what the kitchen looks like from this angle. There's a nice little bench there so you could have like some bar stools. I might get some at some stage and you could just sit and eat at the bench there. But yes, very nice kitchen space. Then if we come out of the kitchen and return to the front door, we can move into the main living space. So this is just my air mattress where I've been sleeping the past two nights. But I think this is where my bed is gonna go in here. So yes, this is the living space. It's sort of like a, it extends around there a little bit. So there's three nice big windows here. And then there's a door there. You can't open that door, it's locked. So I'm not sure what's behind it, but I will never know. Um, and then this is like the big living space. And there's a nice exposed brick wall here. And yeah, so because it's a studio apartment, it is all just in one room. So we've got kitchen and then just one big room. And then over here we have the wardrobe. So plenty of hanging space in there, which is great. Um, and yeah, so I'm thinking of having my bed here. I was originally planning having my bed over there, like by the window, but I think I'm gonna have it in this section instead. And then I'll make this section into more of a living space. So I have like a little sofa here, a desk slash table over there. I'm gonna just have one sort of desk and use it as both a desk and a dining table. And yeah, bookcase here, maybe bookcase along this wall here. But yes, this is my apartment. I am so excited. I really love the space. I love the location and I think it's gonna be really good. Hello, I'm just popping in right now to explain the previous few days because I feel like chronologically, this video may have not been making all that much sense. Basically, I arrived in the US on Monday evening and then on Tuesday morning, after a nice 11 hour sleep to get over the jet lag, I met up with my teammates and we went to New Hampshire for our preseason training camp and that was for three nights, four days. And so we got back on Friday night. And so basically on the Tuesday, between checking out of my hotel at 11 a.m. and meeting my teammates at midday, I went and I got my keys for my apartment. And I quickly like put both of my suitcases in my apartment and then just went and met my teammates, did the preseason training camp. And so then when we arrived back in New Haven on the Friday night, I got one of my teammates who has a car. Um, and they very kindly helped me transport all of the boxes of stuff that I had stored at the track house to my apartment here because that had like my air mattress and bedding and towels and all of the things I need. Um, and so I had, I got some help from my teammates and we got all the boxes into my apartment and this was happening at like 9 p.m. on a Friday and I was going through my five boxes trying to find my air mattress, trying to find my sheets. I found them and also it was so hot and humid and I was like trying to figure out the air con system in here. Anyway, 
<laughs> we had a little bit of a rough night's sleep that night on the air mattress, but I was able to sleep in my apartment. So that was my first night sleeping in here, which was <laughs> exciting. And then I woke up quite early the next morning and it's now a Saturday. And this was my day to be going to Ikea and Target because basically from Australia, I had done an Ikea order of all of my furniture. Um, so I'm talking like couch, mattress, bed, desk, chair, everything that I could like get big furniture wise, I didn't order and I had planned for it to be delivered to my apartment on the Sunday. And so then my plan for Saturday was to go to both Target and Ikea and get all of the little household bits and pieces that you need that are all just a lot easier to get in store in person. Um, and there was a lot of things that you have to get and I do a haul um, in a second. So you'll see all of that. But yeah, I pick up the vlog filming stuff on the Saturday. All right, Saturday. So it's on these days that I am sometimes a little bit jealous of my friends who live in the US and whose parents can like drive them to college and help get them all set up. But that's okay. We can figure out things on our own. So at 8 a.m. I got an Uber from my apartment to Target and this was so cool because my Uber driver picked me up in a Tesla and I had never been in a Tesla before and now I really want one. I already kind of wanted one, obviously cannot afford one, but it was a very cool ride. Um, so that was quite an exciting start to my day. Anyway, I was at Target for so long getting all this stuff you can see here and I'll do a full haul in a minute. But oh my goodness, I was here for hours and I got so much stuff. It was so hard to cart this trolley around by myself. Things kept falling off. People were looking at me like, what is this <laughs> person doing with all of this stuff? Why doesn't she have anyone to help her? So I had to order an Uber XL on the way back to my apartment because I didn't think that all of this stuff would fit in like a normal to small sized car because there was, as you can see, like a microwave, a clothes horse, two duffel bags that I've stuffed like plates and forks and bedding and I don't know what into. So we got an Uber XL and the guy was really nice. He helped me get all of the stuff in and out. And when I got back to my apartment, I had to carry all of this stuff up into my apartment on my own. And it took so many trips, but we got there. Then I had a quick little lunch break and we went to Ikea. Ikea and Target are both thankfully not too far away from Yale. They're like a 10 to 15 minute drive. So I was just walking through Ikea, you know how Ikea is, and I was picking up random things that I saw along the way. I had like a list of things that I was needing to get, and then there was a few extra things that I sort of picked up, like soap dispensers and a rug and various things like that. I mostly stuck to my list, but as I was walking through, I actually saw some things that I realized that I needed and didn't have on my list, such as soap dispensers. Then I had to get all of this stuff into an Uber XL and carry it all back up to my apartment. And let me just tell you, I walked so many steps this day and carried so many things and I was very, very tired, but it was exciting because I was about to set up my new apartment. So it was all very exciting, but it was a little bit tiring just to do all by myself. And this footage here is now from Sunday. So this is the day that I was expecting my big furniture delivery from Ikea. Um, and it was coming a little bit later in the day. So in the morning, I went for a walk around campus and it was the official freshman move-in day this Sunday. And honestly, I was walking around feeling more than a little bit jealous of the freshmen who get to experience a normal first year at college and who get to experience this move-in like this because at Yale, most of the freshmen live on old campus. And so you have upperclassmen from all of the different colleges dressed up in their college gear like for Morse we had everyone was wearing red and then there was two people dressed up as walrus mascots and someone waving a Morse flag and all of the colleges are like playing music and so their freshmen's parents drive them up in cars and whenever someone comes out and they're in like say Morse College all of the Morse people will cheer and the movers will take the stuff of the freshmen and then show the freshmen where to go and there's a lot of sort of healthy competition going on between the college helpers and the college mascot. They're cheering and playing music when freshmen from their college arrive and then they're like you know booing when the freshmen from other colleges arrive and it was just it just looked like so much fun and then I compare it to my 
moving experience, which I wasn't even there for moving because I was in Australia taking classes in the middle of the night. And then when I finally got here, I had to move in all by myself in the middle of October and go into five days of quarantine in my dorm room. That's the way it is. And I'm very happy for all of the freshmen that had a good moving experience this year. But I do wish that I had been able to experience that myself. As, and it's kind of hard seeing it um, sometimes, but that's okay. My mine was certainly a unique, a unique college moving experience. I apologize for looking absolutely feral. I really need to wash my hair, but things have been very hectic around here. It's actually the official first year move-in day today. So I can hear, if you hear like screams in the distance, that is current Yale students welcoming the freshmen. As you saw, I went to Ikea and Target yesterday. And also today I'm expecting my first delivery of furniture from Ikea. So that's everything apart from the bed and the desk should be arriving between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. today. It's currently quarter past 10. So I am waiting in my apartment for them. Um, and I thought I'd give you guys a haul of everything I got at Target and Ikea yesterday. So this is one of the things, oh geez. This is one of the things I got. Am I gonna be able to put this together? This is a little stool I got from Ikea and I'm gonna try and set it up so I can sit down to give you guys the haul, but I don't really know how to set it up. I have never put together Ikea furniture before, so <laughs> okay. It looks like we're gonna need a tool thing, which I did order. That's coming in my Ikea order that's coming today. I ordered like a little tool kit. So we might have to wait until that gets here. Okay, I can't put the stool together because I need a thing to like put nails into a thing. Do you know what I mean? Hopefully it's coming in the IKEA toolkit that is coming with my delivery today. Um, otherwise, I guess we won't have a stool anyway. We don't have a stool for now. So I'm just going to give you a haul. I'll show you the big things first and then I will sit down and go through all of the little things. But this is from Target. Okay, so we have microwave which was on sale for $70 so hopefully it's good I don't really I don't know then we have this 17 piece of like all of these pots and pans and chopping board and measuring cups and spoons and various things and then we have some linen and stuff so this is a mattress protector doona sheets like fitted sheet sheet and pillowcases then this is the Duna cover and maybe more pillowcases. I'm not too sure actually. I got some new towels because it was pretty cheap. It was like $10 for two bath towels and then two little hand towels. Then we have a bath mat and two tea towels. We also have this drying rack, which is so good. Now I will actually have somewhere to hang my clothes. Also from Target, we have some tongs, a set of cutting boards. I got some more hangers because I was always running out of hangers last year. So now I have 18 more. We have a toilet brush. I got two things of soap, one for the kitchen and one for the bathroom. And now from Ikea, I have like reusable soap dispensers and I'm just gonna get like the big thing and then fill them up. But I just really needed to have soap in the house. And these were the only ones I could find at Target. So I was probably looking in the wrong section. But we have some soap, we have some wipes, some sponges, all purpose cleaning spray and some Windex. This little bin for the bathroom that goes like that. A set of knives, forks and spoons. And then we have some storage. So I just got a few like different storage containers for the bathroom. So they're sort of stackable so you can put them like that. And then I got this bigger one as well. So these will just sort of go in my bathroom cupboard and store toiletry items. Then we have this very cheap mug. I just got one because I'm only ever gonna have one hot beverage at a time. And if other people come to my apartment, it can be BYO mug or someone can buy me a mug. <laughs> I'll probably get like another, you know, actual nice mug at some point, but that is just to get me started. And we have these two water glasses because again, I don't really need more because it's just me. And then these two storage things as well, a big one and a small one, which actually very nicely, for some reason at Target, they weren't scanning properly. So the lady gave them to me just for like $5 each when I think they were actually like $10. Um, and I told her that, but she said, oh, it's fine. I'll just give them both to you for $10. So that was nice because I spent a lot of money at Target. Oh my gosh. And it was such a nightmare trying to get those things back in an Uber and then to my apartments, but we managed, they're all here now. So, oh, one more thing is over there. I got this crockery set. So it just has four bowls, four bowls, four like big plates and four small plates. And this was like $25 for 12 pieces, which I think is pretty good. Okay, now it's time for an Ikea haul. So I got this white stool that you saw just before that I can't put together. 
Um, then I got these two little reusable soap things. Like I said, these were like $1 each. So they look like that. And I have two of them, one for kitchen, one for bathroom. Then I have this colander because I couldn't find a colander at Target for some reason. And Ikea had this one. It's really cute. I'm kind of like, I really like it. We also have these plastic. We have these at home in Perth actually, and they're really good. So I saw them and I got them. They are just like plastic bowl storage container things and they're of like all different sizes. So the big one is really, really good if you make like a massive batch of like pasta or something and you just want to like have it in your fridge. We've got those bowls and then we got these. I just picked these up because they were like a dollar um, and there's just like three little sort of sandwich size containers. And then these which are pretty decent sized storage containers. I also got these little plastic bowls from Ikea. We have these at home and they're just so useful to have like little snacks in so I got those and they're pastel colors as well which I love then I just saw this you know you know how Ikea is set up so you sort of like walk through the entire store and you have to like see absolutely everything which they it, it's very useful because if like me you're moving into a house or an apartment for the first time it reminds you of things that you like don't have but also you do kind of just see random things and be like oh maybe I need that so this is one of those I just got this white bowl why did I get this it's sort of like it's a serving bowl so if I have someone over for dinner and I make a salad I can put it in this or if I make myself a salad I could put it in this and then serve it to myself from this so it was like two dollars so I just thought it will probably be useful to have a slightly larger bowl I got this ice cube tray this was the only one I could find and it's in the shape of starfishes but it is so hot right now it's like 30 degrees so I really need to like have some ice in my water so we got this. It was really cheap as well. It was like $3, which I don't know why I thought ice cube trays were more expensive than that. Anyway, then I got this oven dish, which is nice if I want to make a nice like pasta bake, lasagna, something baked in the yeah. oven. Um, I also have this wooden spoon. I didn't get a wooden spoon from Target because I never use wooden spoons. What do you use them for that you don't use like the plastic key ones for? I don't know because they just sort of get stained, the wooden spoons. Like if you make like a bolognese and it just gets sort of stained a bit orangey anyway but then i was walking through ikea and i saw it and i was like no i should have a wooden spoon just because i should have a wooden spoon i also got some knives so i have this sort of chef's knife which i think is going to be like a good one it was a little bit more expensive it was like 13 dollars. anyway and then this set of knives was 10 dollars, and it is a serrated knife another knife that's slightly shorter than that one and then a really small knife then i have this cheese grater because or not a cheese grater just a grater to grate whatever you want to grate carrot zucchini cheese and then i got this baking tray because i don't know why i was under the impression that ovens always come with baking trays but my oven did not come with a baking tray so now I've got a baking tray. Oh, I just got a um, email from Ikea saying that my order is out for delivery and it will arrive soon. I got this rubbish bin. It's just like, I think it said 11 gallons. I don't know how big a gallon is, but just a normal sized rubbish bin, pretty plain and simple. So that's it in terms of kitchen things. And then other things from Ikea, I got this lamp, which is gonna go on my desk. Then I got this, the Lauters. Um, which is like a bedside table lamp sort of thing. I also have a big sized Lauters, like a, you know, one that's like probably this, <laughs> one that's probably like this high that is coming that will go in my living room. So that's being delivered today. It'll go kind of like by the couch, but I needed a bedside table lamp as well. So I'm going to have like a baby Lauters and a big Lauters. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this. This is also a kitchen thing. This is like a thing to put my, um, silverware utensils in. Then I got two um, Fajadra cushions, <laughs> two like 50 by 50 centimeter cushions, and these are gonna go on my couch. Um, and then I got two little cushion covers for them. These are sort of in sage green. I originally got, my bedding is also sage green. I originally picked up different cushion covers um, because I was worried that these are gonna clash with my bedding because that is also this similar sort of color, but maybe it's not like exactly the same and then it would clash. But then I got a rug that has this exact color in it. So then I got this because the rug is gonna go like under my sofa and then this will match the rug and it'll all look good. Then I got this random thing. <laughs> it's meant to be a chopping board, but I'm not gonna use it as that. I thought it would just be a cute little thing to have like like as a decorative thing to put like keys or phone or something on or just like a candle maybe um just have on a bedside table or on the top of a counter so 
I got that just as a little decorative thing for my lamps, the baby lotus and the big lotus. I don't, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. So if you're from Sweden, then don't come at me. But um, I got light bulbs. I just got four light bulbs. So I put one in each and then when they die, I will have it back up. Then I got this little rug. Ooh, gross. Um, I got this little rug for my bed, just a little throw. And then those other blankets that I already have that are stored in the boxes at Morse that I have not heard anything about yet. So I don't know when I can get those. The boxes that are here are the ones that I stored at the track house. So I got them straight after I got back from camp. Those other grow blankets that I have will go on the couch. And then this one is gonna go on my bed. It's just white, so it will match the bedding. This is the rug that I got. I got this because it is compact. Like I kind of wanted a fluffy rug, but they came in these big long things. I was gonna have to like, you know, it was going to be more difficult to have in my possession. And also now that I'm back in my apartment and I'm so hot all the time, <laughs> I do have aircon, but I'm trying not to like spend too much on my electricity bill. I'm kind of glad that I don't have a fluffy rug because I wouldn't want to be like on a fluffy rug in this heat. So yes, this is the rug. It is 155 by 220 centimeters. But this is the pattern on it. You can see this is sort of the exact same shade of green as those cushion covers that I got. So hopefully it will match nicely. And this is going to go under my sofa, I think. And then I have that tiny little rug that came with my bedding in freshman year that I think I'll put by my bed. And that one is fluffy, but it's like the size of a bath mat. So... <laughs> I don't know. I just, I love like having a fluffy rug and then just lying down on it, but that's okay. Okay. Then I have, if you, if you're an Ikea person, you'll know these are like the droner boxes that go in those like Kallax shelves. <laughs> I have today two lots of the two by four Kallax white shelves arriving. Um, which I'm going to attempt to put together. So we'll see how that goes. And also in my order arriving today, I have eight of those dark gray boxes but i'm gonna have like 16 spaces obviously because there's two two by fours um and i'm feeling like i'm gonna need more of the boxes to store my stuff in because i don't have any other drawers in this house so all my clothes are probably gonna have to go in there unless i get a dresser or more storage which i could get but i just want to sort of like not get too much furniture that i'm then gonna have to like sell or get rid of or ship somehow in two years time so anyway, I got more of those so that I can put four more in one of the two by fours so that one of the two by fours has all of its like holes filled with the boxes and then the other one will just have like the bottom row filled with boxes. And then the last two of those will go like in my closet at the bottom so I can put things in them. Or if I really want them to, they can go in the other two by four that has the top row free, if that makes sense. So I've just got like some options, but I did get a few more of those just because I feel like I'm gonna need more storage. Okay, the last thing I got from Ikea was this scub. I know I'm pronouncing everything wrong, um, but it's just a hanging storage clothes organizer thing. So again, on the subject of not having any drawers to put things in, I will put this in my wardrobe. And I do have one of these from Amazon already, but it's not as good. And I saw this and I just thought I'm gonna use this. We have some of them at home and they're really useful. So I'm gonna put this in definitely. And then I might also put the one in from Amazon depending on the space or that could go in the other closet over there. We'll figure it out. But yes, this is, I think, everything I got from Ikea. My furniture just arrived. So we have the two shelves, the mattress, that's my sofa, that's the lamp. There's like a little folding chair there that I just got because it was like $10 and I don't have any other seats. And then here there is a mirror, some boxes, and that fixer kit. I could never settle down too far away from my hometown.
you've been through, why you got scars Since you walked through the door, I've been trying to reach you Cause I feel you What's the story to tell, what's the story behind The mountain you're trying to climb Think I've heard it before in a movie line We can ride everyone i am so 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 excited right now so it is currently saturday we had long run this morning and then we had lift but now tonight oh my goodness i'm actually i'm actually so 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 excited i feel like one of the most excited i've ever been in my life i feel like that sentence was not english but tonight i'm going to new york with kira and kasana and we are going to see harry styles perform in madison square garden and i I'm literally, I am so, so excited. I've never been to a concert before and I've never really been into music that much, but over summer break, I kind of got a little bit more into it and Noelle, my younger sister Noelle, is very much a Harry Styles fan and she was playing his new album, Harry's House, and then I kind of got really into the album and I was sort of listening to it non-stop, which I tend to do when I find a song or an album or like a series on Netflix or whatever that I like, I will just listen to it or watch it on repeat non-stop. So now I've just been listening to the album non-stop and I'm obsessed. And then, anyway, a long story short, I need to go over to Kira's suite. But basically, Kira had three tickets, one for her and two for friends. And there was two other people going, but then one of them was maybe not going to be able to go. And they said, I could go if I wanted to. And I was like, yes, I do. So they very kindly gave me their ticket. And now I'm going. I've just got ready. And now I'm going to go and meet Kira in her suite. And then we're going to go and meet Kasana. And then we're going to the train station, catching a train to New York. And then we're going to... Um, one of our former teammates who's now like living and working in New York We're gonna stay at her apartment tonight So we're going to drop our bags off there and then go and get some dinner and then go to the concert and I'm so excited Tonight's show will be in the round. This means we will be in the middle of him like this for the entire evening. This means two major things. Number one, some of the time, we'll be face to face with you, and we'll be looking at you, we'll be 
side to side, face to face, eye to eye. Okay? This means you're in the night. This means that the rest of the time, we're going to be face to ass. Okay? If at any point during the show, you find yourself developing any sort of preference, please feel free to let it be known. I'll do my best to spread out both face and ass equally. There is plenty to go on. I'm getting a little loose up here, I'm going to tell you to that. Every time I've had the great privilege of playing in New York City and playing in this room over my lifetime, you have made it so incredible for me. I would like to say thank you to all of you, the people in New York, for welcoming me in and making these shows so incredibly special for me. I thank you, thank you, thank you. The next song that we're going to play for you is very, very special to me. I hope that one day it will be a little bit special to you as well. This is the time. Okay, so I just did my first grocery order, as we can see. So, yes, Harry Styles concert was amazing. I had such a good weekend. And then Monday rolled around and suddenly there was two days until classes were going to start. So I did a grocery order and I started like putting together the rest of my furniture. And then my bed and my desk got delivered. My bed and my desk have finally just arrived. I've just opened, this is like the bottom of the desk. I'm definitely going to get someone in to put the bed together for me because I'm not about to try and do that on my own. But I think I might be able to do the desk, so we're going to give it a go. So all is very exciting. Now we have a bed and a desk and I started putting the desk together, but then I had to fail because I didn't have a screwdriver and you needed a screwdriver for one of the steps. So I got someone on TaskRabbit to come and put my bed and my desk together. So they came and they did that on Tuesday. And then, yeah, I finished unpacking the rest of my boxes, got my apartment mostly set up. I was still doing a little bit of it during the first week of classes, which will be my next vlog, so you will see that then. But thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this one. I feel like I have jam-packed about six weeks worth of content into one video, so I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for all of your patience and support as I am navigating a very busy semester right now. Also, this video took me so long to edit with all of the voiceovers and the different clips. So if you enjoyed it, it would mean the world if you could give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, if you could subscribe and join my little YouTube family, that would be amazing. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your week and I will see you in my next video.